Hey everybody, it's Brett and uh, we're here at Summit Auto and we're at our recon facility right behind me. In addition to all the videos that I do here, I'm also in charge of reconning the vehicles, getting them set up on the used car side, used car and truck. And right behind me is a 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500. It is a interesting color to say the least. It's called Autumn Bronze Metallic. A really a neat color. It's got a lot of metal flake in it, but it's a 2016. It's got 44,000 miles on it and it's been used as a truck. Now, this truck is next in line to uh, get the magic touch. The edge of the door here has a lot of wear on it. We're gonna be buffing this entire truck and the whole truck's got a lot of holographing on it from car washes and just use. And it's, of course, it's got scratches and stuff everywhere, but uh, this truck is gonna look amazing once my guy Jose gets done buffing it. And we're gonna go through that whole process of making this truck go from nice to wow. And that's what this whole video is about. Autumn Bronze Metallic 2016 Chevy Double Cab 2500. It's a Duramax. A lot of nice things going on for it. It's got the nice chrome wheels. You can see the tailgate, all the holographing. Uh, just looks, it looks dirty even though I just washed it. We're gonna get this looking good and we'll get you introduced to Jose here in just a little bit. See right where everybody's been touching the door, closing it. Real, real faded. Take care of all that. Got some stuff here. You really see the car wash scratches in there. All this stuff, it'll all come out nicely. This makes this truck look really dull. You can see the hood. It's not in ideal condition. All right, let's see how we're coming on this Chevy 2500. Jose, how's it going, man? Not too bad. It has a lot of fallout, so we're going to clay block it with our Meguiar's hardcore red clay to lift all of that off so that we have a clean slate when I go to buff the paint. Nice. And the whole thing's got to be done? The whole thing. Every square inch. Yep. Kind of a neat color, huh? It is a very nice color. It's one of those colors where people either love it or they hate it. Can't wait to see how it's going to look when it's done because it's really holographed. Yeah, the clarity and the clear should be a lot better. The flakes are going to pop once we're done. That's what my favorite thing is, is when you're done with the vehicle, just how it pops, you know, like in the sunlight and in the picture studio and stuff. So yeah, because this has acid rain on it as well, which is kind of hindering its shine. So we'll have to take care of all of that. and. Make it pretty again. And what's the, what's the best way to do the clay block? Clay block, you always want to follow the length of your panel. You never want to cross it, kind of like with wood, you want to go along with the grain. So like our bedside, we don't want to go up and down because it will mar the paint a little bit. So you don't want crossing scratches. Mm. You want everything to flow with your panel. Okay. Spray a little water. And a lot of elbow grease. Elbow grease, what's that? <laughs> Good old fashioned work. Oh, is that pressure? <laughs> Lots of pressure over time. <laughs> cool. And then what's the next step we're gonna do? Once we get done with claying, then we are going to assess the paint, make sure there's no wet sanding that needs to be done. And if there isn't, which I didn't see anything, um, then we're going to start cutting with our buffing pad and our Rupes buffing. Awesome. Buffing cream. Very cool. Can't wait to see it on the next step. Can't wait to see it done. It's going to look great. But that's everyone, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Here. 
How's it going, Jose? Well, it's going pretty good. We are now moving on to the buffing phase of our detailing. Um, we already buffed the front part of this truck. As you can see, the kind of glaze that's over the clear and all the car wash scratches are gone mm -hmm. on this side, which is very much emphasizing the flake that this paint has, making it look real nice and shiny and pretty. Oh yeah. For whoever is going to purchase this beautiful truck. And uh, we're doing a one cut with the Rupes Blue and a microfiber buffing pad, which should get us the results we want all over the vehicle. Nice. So we got the whole front doors and fender all done already? Yep. All of it ready to get polished. So it's just going to be a one cut, like you said, and then we're going to just finish with a polish. The paint wasn't too bad, just a little bit of... Yeah, she was just beating up a lot of hazing, a lot of car wash scratches, which is normal. Um, a lot of people don't take out the time to buff their clear and maintain it. But luckily, we can bring all that back and make it look brand new. And its next owner will be nothing but happy with it. That's awesome. Yeah, that looks great. I saw you did a 50-50 split on it yes that always gives me my a little extra fuel for the fire to see the finished product of how it will look like versus how it started when it came in here and awesome. uh yeah let's gives us a little window into the future cool well we can't wait to see how this one finishes out and uh, I'm gonna let you get back to work. Excellent. All right, thanks man. Yep.
heard Jose is just about done with this one. What's up, Jose? How's it going? Well, we are just finishing up with our polish. All our hard work is paying off, and this is just the cherry on top. Bringing out all the flake that's in this really pretty brown color. I think it's called autumn bronze. Autumn Isn't bronze, it? amber bronze, something like that. Yeah, it looks really good. But yeah, not always a big brown fan, but this one, this one's something special. Oh yeah. When you can make the clear that nice. Right, all that hazing is gone from living its life and all the car wash scratches are cleaned up and all you can see is the pretty paint underneath. Yeah, I'm just going to do a walk around here quick. I mean, we'll be doing the video and that'll be linked at the end of this video, but she looks really good. Not bad for a work truck, huh? No, no, it turned out really nice. And now you got a, you've got an Instagram, right? Yes, it is underscore the paint whisper underscore. Really good. What's the next project? A dually. Dually? Big black dually. Yeah, there's my some specialty. Big scratches <laughs> on that one. We're going to see if we can get those out. But hey, nice job. Everybody go visit Jose on his Instagram page. Follow him, and he's got a lot of great paint correction videos up there and side by sides and stuff like that. What is it again? One more time. Underscore paint underscore whisper. Nice. Yeah. And like I said, I'll, I'll link that um, at the end of the video too. So, all right, Jose, thanks a lot. Let's get on to the next one, right? Rock and roll. All right, everybody. Uh, big moment here. This is the final presentation of this 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500 that we completely buffed and polished and just made look as good as we could. Jose just did a fantastic job. And I'm in the picture studio. I just did my video on it for the website. And now I'm gonna show you uh, basically how it looks now. So you can see just how awesome this thing turned out. Very, very nice. Very happy with the uh, finished product on this one. Autumn bronze metallic. Uh, Kind of a brown almost a red it's really a unique color and i wanted to really showcase jose's talents and just what he can do to a vehicle now this isn't the most messed up vehicle we've ever had i mean we've had some other vehicles that you know scratches on every panel and just wet sanding on every panel and he can do that and that's an amazing job and that's probably a future video but i just wanted to really show what he can do on a truck like this because this is how we do what we do. We make some of the nicest products out there from used vehicles. And just look at that clear coat. Look how clean that is. Look at that metal flake. And when you get it in the picture studio, that just pops. So just a really great job. And thanks to everybody who's watched the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this of our process and just uh, reconning different used vehicles, let us know in the comments below. We really appreciate all the comments, the viewers, and everybody that comes back. Thank you so much for checking out the video, and until our next one.